reading. This is going to be a pick a card reading. Hope you guys can hear me. I'm going to try a little different setup. If you guys are new to my channel, greetings, welcome. Um, so it might be a little hard to see the cards because I'm using my Walu Child Readings Oracle, which is a big ass Oracle deck. <laughs> so I will show you guys the options. I'll be using three different options to choose which pile for you. I'm going to shuffle on camera so you guys can see um, the cards. Keep in mind, this is general. This is not a personal reading, okay? So, the options we have here. The first pile is spying. Pile two, we have soul tie. And pile number three, we have unity and harmony. So those are the three piles to choose from. I will give you guys a moment to meditate and reflect on which pile stands out to you. And we're just going to see, you know, is this person ready to communicate with you? Um, you know, and what's their next move in relation to that? Okay, while you guys do that, I'm going to light my incense because I completely forgot to light it. All right, so pile one, let's start with you, which is the spying card. You guys are drawn to the spying card. This is your pile. This is going to see if your person in question in mind is ready to communicate with you, okay? You could be in communication or non-communication. You may be waiting for some type of important message or communication. Could be platonic as well if it resonates that way. However, this is a general guidance reading, so please use your discernment and intuition with these readings to know what part of the reading is for you because it's general. It's not going to resonate with everybody personally, okay? All right. So, let's tap in and see who your person is, and this may give you further clues if any of the archetypes resonate with you, if this is your person. If this is your person... So pile number one, I ask that this reading give us accurate guidance, clarity, truth, peace in the mind, peace in the heart. I ask for permission to tap into this collective's energy. I ask that there be a protective shield around us, a portal of divine protection. May all guidance come from the divine, the most high God. Any information that comes through to my ears, out of my mouth, only come from the divine. Any false guidance, information, visions, insights that are not straight from the divine, that are not straight from the soul of God, I tune and block those energies out now. I tune them out. All right, this person could be spying on you, or you could be spying on them, or you guys are spying on each other, keeping tabs um, with one another. Your person could be a feminine energy with the Lady Nada. Lady Nada um heart awakening okay so this is someone that has activated your heart chakra whether this is a feminine energy or not or woman doesn't matter um this person could have awakened your heart chakra you may be having heart chakra um activations now or your heart how you know is you could feel this person's um when you Think about this person you feel into their energy you instantly get some type of warmth in your heart a lot of pacing sometimes it could be heavy if you feel a sense of sadness in relation to this person or not being around this person you could feel 
um, a sense of sadness sometimes, or maybe you could feel their energy. Um, it says, awaken to acceptance of divine love, given, receive, and balance. So this could be a divine connection, divine love. Cards is flying. You have surface bay with ascension. Yeah. So this could be a divine connection. You guys may be helping each other ascend and grow into your higher selves, into your best self. Your person um, could draw, you know, they could, um, male or female, they have really beautiful eyes. They may have like cat-shaped eyes or just really almond-shaped. And I also feel like if it's a feminine energy, maybe even a male, a male that was makeup, they may use like the winged eyeliner look. They like black eyeliner or smoky eye looks. If you can hear my sister, <laughs> ignore her. Why isn't this lighting? We need this to light. We need that energy up in here. Okay. So yeah, your person could also be into Egyptian um, mythology or ancient Kemet. Okay. I do feel like your person does have a strong energy, strong um powerful yep something with egypt for sure your person is very connected to that their totem could be um a serpent or a falcon an eagle an owl if this is a masculine energy they're very very highly tapped in and tuned in you resonate with this person on a deep level Your person could be an air sign, earth sign, fire sign, I feel like. Your person has very sharp features. Taurus, your person could be a Taurus or you could be a Taurus. Very beautiful um, energy. Someone is definitely into makeup. I do see a lot of makeup here. Um, someone is, I feel like there's a feminine that loves flowers. Could be something with... Um, yeah, something with nature, flowers. I still get earth sign regardless. You have the fifth house. Fifth house energy. So this is someone that is here to help you expand and bring you some type of light energy, lighthearted energy, playful energy. Um, I'm also getting like you and this person. Some of you guys have went out on a date with this individual. Maybe you guys are going to date this person, but I'm getting... There's a lot of entertainment with this connection, a lot of creativity, a lot of lighthearted, childlike energy in this. The number five could be significant to your journey. Um, this card keeps falling. It might be too many cards here. So, I do feel like this is like a summer romance type energy. So, someone definitely... I feel like we'll be going out. Maybe this is the nature of communication could be like finally asking you out on a date or you guys have not went out in a while and this person may want to take you to an amusement park. But there's something here with flowers. Um, someone may like wear natural floral scents on their body like oils or something or like, yeah, I'm getting something with that. Okay, something with flowers keeps standing out to me. This person may like to wear like citrus um, perfumes or scents, something with citrus, something with floral. So I am picking up on a feminine energy. This could be you, okay? I feel like there's a feminine energy here that's very focused on their finances. Um, I do see some growth here, focusing on self-growth. And there's, I keep getting something with the eyes. So maybe you like this person's eyes or they like your eyes or both of you like each other's eyes. But it's something with that. And of course, the eyes are the windows to the soul. You have cosmic energy or cosmic gateways. So there's some type of divine connection here. And um, you guys may have like some type of Egyptian tattoo or your person does or wears some type of... Um, sigils or something some type of ancient symbols or like into sacred geometry or something like that so this person and you like when you guys think about each other it's a very strong magnetic powerful pull towards each other you guys might call each other at the same time or you'll think about this person and then something will pop up that reminds you of them like there's a strong energy 
It's very ancient. I feel like you guys have a past life connection. This connection goes way back. Okay. So, we're going to tap in and see where things are now. Like, where is this person at as far as communicating with you? Is this person ready to communicate, you know, whatever it is? And then we're going to see what potentially they're going to communicate with you or what they would like to say and what their move, what their next move is going to be potentially, okay? So this person that you have in mind, Divine Spirit, is this person ready for communication? Is this person ready? Is this person ready for communication? I'm seeing a boat. For some of you, this is a long distance connection. Um, there may be travel involved, could be an overseas relationship. Is this person ready to communicate? I feel like they are. I'm going to pull more cards, but you have the Nine of Wands, the Fool, and the Ten of Cups. So they may be ready to communicate with you, ready to face their fears, okay? Because this person may be looking back at past experiences. They may have been hurt in the past. They may have experienced some type of rejection, some type of trigger. And then you have the Fool. So this is ready to take a leap of faith, okay? This person is more so op optimistic than they are fearful, I feel like, okay? They do have a little bit of fear, but I feel like this person is ready to, to step out of that old energy and start over. And I get like, this could very much lead to a happy ending. I feel like they do want to communicate or they are ready at least. Let's see. Okay. Is my deck upside down? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So they may like feel like, okay, I may not be completely confident, but they're ready. I feel like they do. With the tenor of the Page of Wands, excuse me, and the King of Wands, I feel like they are ready to communicate. The pages are messengers, okay? The Page of Wands would be a message that is exciting, optimistic, adventurous, maybe even impulsive, spontaneous type of message. I've, again, there's something with pyramids and stuff, Egypt. You guys may resonate with Egypt. Your person is very cocky, like flashy, even at times, or their delivery is going to be um, kind of, I feel like you might know that this person is ready to communicate because they may be, may be like flashy or showing off, overly confident than usual. Um, they may be showing off something that they have, like a necklace, a watch, something with jewelry, could be something with their fashion their style like this person i feel like or they're preparing themselves like they're grooming themselves and they're getting ready um i also get something with like fitness or working out so whether this is a male or a female you know if it's a woman they may be like you know showing off their their dress their high heels and stuff like taking pictures and like showing themselves looking good or whatever taking pictures of them working out male or female i'm getting so that's how you know that this person is getting ready or they feel ready okay nine of cups yeah this is something that they wish for and i get that you also are in your head about this you are kind of lacking faith in this whole thing but um what i'm getting from from the eight of swords is like this person could have also been in their head having a lot of anxiety and i feel like they're coming out of the anxiety because they want to make this happen. I do feel like this person is most likely ready to communicate with you. I do feel like they are. I get positive energy from this. What does this person want to tell you? Okay, whether this is the nature of what they want to say or this is just where they're at. You know, what they wish they could say. You're in my heart and in my mind. So yes, like this person is thinking about you. You are in their heart. Remember I was saying something with the heart chakra. Unfortunately, I realized I did not see your work at first. So maybe this person, I feel like, you know, your person could tend to be a little like, I'm not getting, mm, what's the right word? I don't want to say self-centered. They do have some type of nature of being a little bit selfish. Um, but this person wants you to not try to control, you know, control the situation. Like let them do it. Don't force this person into so 
I get like a lot of anxiousness. I get a lot of excitement, anxiety, like just wanting to do it. Like a lot of adrenaline. Like your person wants to do this. They want to communicate. I feel like for sure. Like they want to just leap. Okay, so this could be someone that is interested in you. Look, you have my heart and soul. So just like the other cards. You are in my heart and in my mind. So yeah, this person, I feel like loves you or is in love with you. If they never told you, maybe they want to tell you that. But I'm focusing on myself. So yes, this person, I feel like in the past, they were putting, like they may have taken this connection for granted and felt like it was just best that they focus on them and do them. But I feel like you've always been on this person's mind and on their heart and they feel that. Especially with the heart chakra activations and everything, I feel like this person is realizing it's something much more. And they may tell you what's been going on, like what, you know, they've been focusing on themselves, what they've been up to, or why they couldn't come forward, or why they couldn't express to you how they really felt. This person has a lot to say, by the way, so the conversation could be long. So, um... If you had a question, it's a no right now. That could be a good thing or maybe a triggering thing. This person feels bound by something or someone at the moment. Or they're going to tell you that they felt like they were stuck. The Three of Cups was at the bottom of my tarot deck. So it could be something with their environment. People in their life does not have to be a love triangle situation. But for some of you, it could be if you are aware of that. There's a misunderstanding. So yeah, this person wants to clear the air they want to clear the air with you call me or text me so this person is ready to communicate they are that's a clear sign can you keep a secret so there's something that this person wants to tell you that is very intimate they want to know if they can trust you with what they're about to say but this person does with them when we had the nine of wands i feel like your person was a little bit hesitant to communicate what they wanted to say to you because of past hurt an experience of being hurt so let's see what this person's you asked if this person forgot about you they're saying no i didn't forget about you i'm hearing that no so if that was your question and that no card came out you asked or you were thinking that this person just forgot about you or they didn't care no that's not true okay yep there's a gift that's coming there's a gift that's coming. This person wants to give you something, okay? They want to clear the air with the stormy weather card. They're going to clear shit up. Excuse my language. The timing is it's going to be... It's based off of divine timing, meaning it's based off of the energy alignment of you both being in the space and place for this to happen, whatever this communication is about. But I feel like it's not far away. Yep. You got the success fame and status card so this could have something to do with social media this makes me think of instagram for some of you it does not have to be but um keep an open mind how this is going to manifest okay because there is some type of door there's an opportunity that's opening up let's get more clarity from the after tarot this person is going to communicate with communicate about a lot of different things or because it's so many of you that it could range from different topics it's not going to be the same for each and every one of you but if this person and you like kind of needed to separate or this person has not really been as communicative as they usually were in the past is because of the fact that this person felt like they needed to focus on themselves i do feel like this person was running from this connection they may have had a lot of um some of you may have had a person that was dealing with a job that they felt stuck in a living situation toxic environment but this person's ready to cut this shit out or they've cut things and people out of the way that doesn't that doesn't serve them or didn't serve them and i'm also getting to that they're ready to clear the air again the strength card so this person may have felt tied down to someone it was like a never-ending cycle where they have dealt with someone that um, could have been very manipulative and very controlling, could have been a partner, could have been an ex, could have been um, a family member or something, or they could have felt like kind of um, tied down to a job, perhaps. 
but this person misses you they may have ran from you because they were afraid of the love that you had to give your love is infinite it's very unconditional for, for some of you i feel like you have unconditional love for this person and they were afraid of it they were not ready to embrace this for some of you yes they did need to release a karmic connection with someone with the death or the devil card excuse me in reverse but um this person whether they're male or female if they identify as masculine or feminine whatever the case is they're stepping into their authority and they're taking direction they're taking action um for some of you it's i'm getting leo season capricorn and maybe aries season and for some of you guys might be like oh that's a long time but this is based off of divine timing and energy you can't rush divine timing so you know take what resonates anything else but I just get this person's ready to go. Yeah, some of you guys it will be soon. But this person is ready to. And I feel like their delivery is going to be very excited, very anxious, or just like they're ready. Like they're ready to go or so they feel. But that's what I'm getting. I'm going to pull an advice card for you guys. I feel like your person is geared up, okay? Ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna pull from the angel guides and goddesses that see what the, your spiritual team wants you guys to know. What is in the best interest and highest good of all parties involved? Okay. So you guys might need to practice a little more um, self-appreciation at this time. We have Angel of Soul Love. It says, take time to look at how you value yourself, issues of self-love. So you have to know that you're deserving of what this person is bringing to you or the universe is giving you because you did have share the wealth. So this person wants to share something with you. They want to give you something of value, what they feel like is valuable. But you have to realize that you're worthy of that. Some of you don't feel this way. Look at this. <laughs> this is at the top of the deck. Angel of communication. So it says communicate clearly and don't be afraid to tell it like it is. So Spirit is telling you too that you may also have something that is on your heart that you wish to share with this person. And they're saying when the time comes, you know, be open and be clear with your heart. There's something with the heart chakra. This is a heart centered connection. You can't um run from this connection you can't hide you can't be your inauthentic self with this connection or with this person because it's centered off of true divine love and i feel like spirit's teaching both of you this this is a very um valuable principle in this connection is love and being in your heart center and having compassion not just for the person but for yourself most importantly so you know this is your message from spirit pile number pile number one so that was from you guys i hope you appreciated this reading i hope that it gave you some more clarity some insight some peace peace of mind peace in your heart and i will holler at you guys in the next video peace take care Pile number two. For those of you that chose the soul tie pile, this is for you. Okay. And we're going to tap in and see if your person is ready to communicate with you or not and what their next move is going to be. What I suggest you guys is, you know, only take what resonates with you. Okay, I cannot guarantee that this reading is going to resonate, whether that be partially or whether that be fully. It's not a personal reading. It's general, and I'm sure you guys you guys know that. Y'all know the spill, okay? So let's be respectful. If a pile does not resonate with you, you can always check another pile. Um, but what I like to do is tap into the archetype of your person, which will give you, you know, some validation whether this pile is for you or not. If any of the descriptions that I pick up match the person that you have in mind for this reading or not. Um, so let's, let's tap in pile number two, divine spirit. I thank you for your love and guidance over this reading, over this message, ask for divine protection to surround those in collective pile two. 
and their person, that there be a portal of divine light and protection from any lower vibrational energies. May this message bring clarity in the heart and in the mind, peace in the mind and peace in the heart. I also ask that any messages that are inaccurate, any false guidance or information or visions that are coming from places that are not of the most high, I ask that you tune those energies out. Okay, we got a lot of cards here. Okay, so let's start with Krishna. We have devotion, okay? So your person may have that little, that chin. I call it the booty chin, no offense. I think it's cute. You know, I had a little thing for Michael Jackson when I was young. So something similar to that. Um, so there's a lot of people that have the, <laughs> I forgot what you call it. I think it's called a cleft chin, something like that. I don't remember. So no disrespect. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. But this person may have those features. I feel like this person may have blue eyes for some of you or you have blue eyes. Um, this person's very beautiful. If this is a masculine energy, they like to wear a lot of accessories or jewelry. Um, I feel like this person could be darker skin for some of you. Um, this person is very spiritually guided. They're very spiritually committed to, or religious. They could have a religious faith where they're, they're very, um, very in tune with spirit. Okay. Very in tune with their spiritual beliefs rather. Okay. I feel like they're also someone that you could have been in a commitment with. Maybe you are in a commitment, but this person is someone that appreciates their relationships with others i'm not seeing this person as a player type whether they're male or female i don't get that vibe from this person they're very patient as well um this person i feel like loves you unconditionally okay there's a strong soul connection some soul ties are not healthy and some soul connections are formed by god or the universe the divine um you have the light activation card which shine your light okay so another thing pointing towards a person that is divinely guided so your person is um an individual that is not going to take action or make any moves or any decisions unless they're divinely led okay um so there's something with blue eyes here so you or your person has blue or green eyes if not i get indigo child someone is an indigo very intuitive like your person is very wise beyond their years some of them could be blondes or um or this is just a signal that this person is very in tune with spirit okay very connected it's like this white hair I feel like it's like gray almost like white like a x-men type vibe um what's her name storm i'm getting yeah look you have mercury and we know the planet Mercury is about communication. If you guys don't know, the planet Mercury is about communication. And this person is ready to communicate. Or when they do communicate with you, this person is going to be very clear. Okay, there's something with healing. Your person is has a very healing aura and energy. But I feel your person could be healing right now or they needed to heal before they can communicate with you. So there's a lot that this person wants to say. There's a lot this person wants to get off of their chest. It says, get a weight off of your chest. Speak up with love and be heard. So yeah, your person wants to communicate. This is a clear sign that they want to. But let's see if they're ready to. You know what I mean? Um, Paul, experiencing grace. Yeah, your person's very loving and they have a big heart. Um, your person has a very big heart, okay? I'm also getting that the gifts that they share with others, what they feel like is the most precious thing that they can ever give someone is their heart. And I feel like they're very careful with this. This is like a gentleman or lady, you know, lady-like person. Um, I'm getting Pisces. I'm getting Gemini. Um, water, I'll say water water signs maybe even some earth here but i'm getting specifically pisces and gemini energy for some reason and um this person is like they nurture and love deeply okay and i feel like this person has a reputation of falling in love very easily so therefore they're a little more wiser with their heart okay they don't just give openly without 
you know, discerning, okay? Because they may have felt like they loved the wrong people, romantically and platonic connections alike, okay? Um, but this person feels inspired to express some type of love to you in some type of way. So whatever they do is going to be in love. And if this is a feminine energy with the green Tara, you have supreme protection. It's very beautiful feminine energy, very um, etheric like energy, okay? This feminine energy could be very protective over you or this could be you as a feminine. You're very protective. You are also maybe at a period where you're cutting and cleansing um, your energy, cutting cords with people and things that don't serve you. So once you do this, you'll be able to see far because the card says move beyond limitation and trust. So as you cut cords with the things and people that don't serve you, you'll be able to see beyond the limitations that were once there. And you can trust more in yourself and trust more in spirit. There's something with the heart chakra that is being healed for you also, I feel like. If you're asking about a feminine, they are healing their heart chakra, okay? There's something very um, earthy about this feminine and something watery. So there could be a feminine energy that is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or an earth sign that has water in their chart or a water sign that has a lot of earth in their chart. I feel like, um, but this is a strong connection. I feel like two people that are very loving, very nurturing people that don't mean to hurt or harm anyone. But let's get some further guidance on, oops. Okay, <laughs> these cards flew out. All right, so you have sixth house, you have the first house, and Scorpio. Yes, there is some water up in here, okay? This is a very intense connection, very transformative, very passionate. This connection could be one where you guys don't speak up a lot. You guys don't really share too much of your feelings or your emotions. You hide your feelings or your emotions. You or your person could be very, very deep people because there's a lot of depth to you emotional depth spiritual depth this connection can tend to be a little sticky someone could be a little obsessive at times again there's some hopeless romantics up in here okay um definitely a masculine energy that's very hopeless romantic or was at one point in their life and you guys are like mysterious to each other the like i said soul ties can be from the divine and there's also soul ties that can be karmic so this connection does have a shadow side to it as well where you guys can be very obsessive with each other very destructive could be manipulative or emotionally manipulative at times okay just make sure you're not operating off of that energy then you have saturn Okay, Saturn wisdom. So there is some karmic energy in this connection that you guys it may not be in in connection to each other or in relation to each other. It definitely could be. Um, I feel like it's personal. I feel like this is personal, individual karmic energies that you guys are purging out. You guys are clearing out past hurts and pains. I feel like both masculine and feminine energies, you guys are healing the heart chakra. I have to go back to these two cards here. You see how there's flowers centered in the heart. There's something about growth. There's something about nurturing, okay? Tending to something in the heart, okay? So you guys are healing. So you guys are learning a lot of lessons through this connection. I feel like there's a lot of discipline. Spirit is saying for both of you guys to remain disciplined in the things that you are working towards on yourself, being ambitious. Some of you guys are learning boundaries in regards to this connection. You guys could have um, taken the other for granted or, or someone thought that this, I feel like masculine or feminine, you guys may have thought like, oh, I'm gonna have this person forever and, and I'm just gonna be able to get away with it. And just this person's always going to be there for me. And I feel it triggered something in a past situation. So it all worked for the greater good. But I do feel like it was some type of lesson or a test where someone was like, okay, well, I can't lose this person. I can't mess this up because I know what it feels like to be taken advantage of or taken for granted. Okay. Some of you guys are learning a lot about self-control. Okay. There's a lot of realization in this. Okay. A lot of grounding. It can, it can tend to, you know, the, the energy of the water can be very deep that you get lost in the waters and that earth energy is there to ground. So you have the numinous, which is mystery. Again, this connection is very, um, very spiritual in a sense 
where you guys can get very lost in that there's a lot of shadow work in here there's a lot of needing to trust in your inner guidance your inner knowing one of you or both of you have the ability to astral travel so you guys may have felt like this person has astral travel to you um in your dreams or you felt their presence around you like you guys may be aware of how to do that one or both of you but i get that this is a highly intuitive group where you and your person are very intuitive um yeah i feel like you guys are learning oneness you guys are learning beyond what you can see beyond the limitations so it could be the earth sign person that's learning beyond the limitations but take a resonates and it does not have to be that you guys are just water and earth signs take a resonates you have the first house and the sixth house so it could be something with the number one or the number six maybe the number seven is something significant to you guys or the number 16 um but this is all about self-realization um how you see yourself like this connection opens the doors to you guys realizing your power realizing who you really are there's a lot this connection could have led to many awakenings about yourself okay how you express yourself in the world your consciousness what's your truth like this connection does that for you i'm also getting as well that someone is very focused on their health someone is into holistic um a holistic lifestyle i also get that someone could be into rituals but i get that there's healing going on there's a purification when it comes to spiritual health emotional health mental health physical health all of that i feel like someone's taking care of themselves in some type of way to heal and to cleanse there's something with green i feel like this is the heart the heart chakra okay so let's see if this person is ready to communicate is this person ready to communicate with you are they ready whoa knight of wands seven of swords i feel like they want to but i don't feel like they're quite ready Okay, they may think that they're ready or they might feel like they're ready, but I don't feel like they are. This person is learning to temper some of their passions and their energies. Okay, this person sees you as their one. Okay, with the Empress card, this person sees you as their one, or you see this person as your one for sure. So there's a borderline between being toxic, okay, and being a balanced connection i feel like you guys are learning this because as you cut the toxicity out of yourself out of your life in whatever way that you're being led to whatever you're being called to remove is something in the heart chakra and vice versa for the other person it removes that toxicity and that karmic energy out of the connection it's not so much that the connection is karmic because i don't feel like it is a karmic energy i feel like it's karma within self that is being healed and it affects the connection so you have the world i mean the lovers as well so the lovers is the more harmonious divine aspect of this connection so i do feel like this is perhaps a divine connection some of you guys you know I gotta be careful with that because it might not be that way for everyone i do feel like there's some divine feminine energy here someone is spying like i feel like someone feels like they're ready but they're not quite ready or they're they're um kind of waiting it out okay they're spying or just gathering information right now to make sure that they they are ready to communicate but I honestly don't feel like this person is ready just yet. Um, there's still some, some healing that's taking place. But there's a reason to be hopeful and see beyond. Like I said, someone is being guided to see past their illusions of limitations when it comes to the things that you're wanting in life. you got to leave the room open for spirit to bless you and to give you way much more than what you can fathom for yourself. It's going to turn out better than what you expect. So I feel like there's still some balance that needs to be had here because I feel like the issue, oops, this table is very odd. I'm learning how to work with this table because I usually work from my reading table, but I'm using like a nightstand table. So it's like, I'm trying to like, you know, make it do with do. Um, <laughs> Cause I wanted to work over here. 
But with the Six of Pentacles, I feel like the issue was a balance of equal give and take. And that was the issue of the karmic lesson that needed to be cleansed out. And the lovers and the empress could also represent self-love, okay? The lack of that toxic patterns and, and toxic behaviors within self or lack of boundaries was needed. For some of you, this person could have been very sneaky and deceptive. It could have been a liar or you could have been lying. Like this person could have been like, I don't necessarily feel like this person is a, a player, but I feel like because of some type of pattern or because of some type of wounding, okay, some type of karmic energy or past situation this person was operating from their lower self from a lower vibrational place because i don't feel like this person naturally is a player or something this person could have even for some of you left you for another person or decided to invest somewhere else and kind of left you in the dust and that needed to happen so that you can honor yourself and love yourself more Okay, whether you're male or female, this is all about self-love and abundance of self-love. And it's like that mothering energy. Mother loves us all day. They're nurturing. They have our best interest at heart, but they also instill tough love. They don't allow you to just do whatever. So this is your higher self teaching you that tough love as well. I don't feel like this person is ready to communicate. They want to, but I don't feel like they're ready. There's still some healing and you're not ready either. And if you don't feel like this resonates with you, by all means, check another pile. But this, I'm just, what I'm getting, this person's not ready and you're not ready quite yet. But let's see what this person wants to say, whether this is the nature of what they wish to communicate or this is just what they want to tell you right now. That they're not telling you and I'm going to use my love messages. Okay, so this person, when they think about you, or when they listen to music, they think about you and it makes them feel a lot. Like this person gets in their emotions and they start thinking very deeply. I do get for some of you, there is some regret from your person. Okay, stop trying to control things. So they don't want you to try to force or control your hand in this. This person likes freedom, I feel like. Your person likes to, and that might have been the issue for some of you because they were operating in that, in their shadow. There's nothing wrong with being free because divine love and true love and unconditional love is not something that is meant to restrict you okay but i feel like this person was operating in a lower vibrational place they ran for some of you they were a runner we both have to work on ourselves so yes it's further implying again that you guys are not quite ready to communicate whether you guys are in non-communication or there's something that you feel like needs to be said it's not time it's not quite time yet. You guys are not in the space to receive um, that energy. It's all about energy. It's not about timing. It's not about the months, the days, the weeks, or none of that. Oh, it's Christmas, so this person should communicate. If this person's energy and your energy is not in alignment, um, because there may be something that's blocking that. So say, for instance, you want this person to express their truth in their heart, come from their heart, be open, and you be open, but you guys have heart chakra blocks, you guys have trust issues, you're not ready to be in a space to openly, wholeheartedly communicate your, your truth. You know what I mean? What does this person want to say? Do you trust me? So there's trust issues. Like I said, I didn't say that just for nothing. You guys may have trust issues. And this person could have broken your trust. But they do want to give you something. They want to give you something special, whether this is a material gift, you know, like something physical or just their expression. This person wants to be with you. So that I want to have babies with you could go imply to the, um, the queen or not the queen, sorry, the empress, which is pregnancy. She can represent that. This person, again, sees you as their one. Person sees you as their one. Um, I also feel like, too, they just see you as someone that is settled down. Like, I feel like this person knows that you're what they want or who they want to be with or stay with, whatever the case may be. Like, they see you as their one. They're equal. Okay. This person, if they did choose somebody else over you or they were dating multiple people, they're saying they don't compare to you. These people don't compare. They only want you. All they want is you. 
this person misses you so some of you guys this could be a separation and now they're wondering is there someone else so some of you guys definitely are not in communication at all and so they don't really know where you're at what's going on with you are you talking to someone else are you in a relationship now like they don't really know um for some of you that might not be for everyone but i feel like this person did you know this person messed up in the past you know trying to be in a place of you know not getting attached to someone and it backfired on them i feel like some of you guys stood in your power and you walked away from this person but um let's see what their next move is going to be potentially in the near coming future what is their potential next move towards you okay so you could get a message soon from this person or some type of good news from or about this person the good news and messenger card foolish this person is ready to like i said i feel like they feel like they're ready and they may be ready soon they're ready to take a leap okay so again they are taking steps towards you this person will be taking some steps towards moving towards you stormy weather and that's to clear the air pile number one had something similar um so yeah, this person, I feel like, is going to take some steps towards clearing the air with you in some type of way. Um, I don't feel like they're going to... For some of you, it might start off as a small communication and they're going to work their way up to expressing how they really, really, truly feel. I feel like this person wants to express to you from an open place how they really feel or maybe even apologize to you, but they're going to take like a more lighter approach with the foolish card okay so you have the ten of pentacles five of swords this person could be in an established relationship with someone or there's some type of toxic family ties that this person is cutting out of their life this person could have felt smothered by you or smothered by someone else i feel like they have to let they have to walk away from somebody i'm gonna be honest i feel like for some of you this is a love triangle third party situation and maybe you know about this already spirit's telling you because this is not the first time this card came out it came out in the other deck the seven of swords make sure that this person is really free from attachments especially if it's another woman or another man involved make sure this person is truly free from those attachments because i don't feel like this person may step to you free okay but and that they're going to stay too make sure this person isn't coming into your life just to leave again make sure this person is really ready because for some of you i don't feel like all of that karma is cleared out yet i don't feel like it is for some reason i just i don't feel like it okay because the page of wands comes in with exciting news exciting messages but it's like it's short-lived so make sure that this person isn't doing this to you make sure that they're really ready okay this person may feel like they have something to prove to you because maybe they allowed other people to dictate their life, to tell them what's what, you know, who they should be with. No, don't be with this person. Oh, you shouldn't like him or her. They're not good for you. Or, you know, I got to stick to the status quo and be with this person and that person. And even though they felt a lot of love with you and they may have felt like you were trying to control them or tame their nature which it's like their ego needs to be balanced out because this person is operating from their ego not their truth okay so make sure this person is really in the space and ready to come forward because i don't mm, i don't know i don't feel like this person's really ready but let's see what your advice is from the angel gods and goddesses deck i ask for only divine guidance that is beneficial for all parties involved and their highest good divine spirit angels and ancestors that love me thank you goddess of compassion self-criticism is diminishing your sense of self-worth so again this is like you're working on that self-love that nurturing yourself or forgiving yourself because you could be blaming yourself for what happened in this relationship or feeling like oh it was something i didn't do right or what you know what was wrong with me did this person not find me attractive enough or did i not do enough did i run this person away but the truth is is like you guys are kind of 
magnifying each other's traumas it's not that you guys are causing it like you're inflicting pain more so it's like how do i explain it it's like the energy is you know the the clearing needs to happen within the cell and because because you guys might not be aware of what that is um you guys might be inflict like inflicting putting the traumas on the other person if that makes sense okay i hope that makes sense does that make sense i hope it does okay so that is your reading pile number two <laughs> I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you enjoyed this message, okay? And um, until the next reading, enjoy. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Much love as always. Be blessed. Greetings, pile number three. Last but not least, if you guys were drawn to the unity and harmony card, this is your reading. So keep in mind, like I always say and every reader says, and y'all probably just like, could you please just stop? Uh, I know. Some of y'all don't know the drill, so I'm just going to lay it out for you. These are general readings, okay? In order for something to be tailor-made for your energy only, specifically for you where it's way more and far more accurate than a general reading you got to get a reading with a reader of your choice otherwise use your discernment and intuition to know what is for you what you know relates to your situation all right um I'm going to tap into your person's archetype. Like, who are they? What's their personality? Maybe characteristics that I pick up. Physical characteristics. And if it sounds like your person, then, okay, cool. You'll know if this is your pile or not. Not every archetype will resonate fully with everybody. Just take the parts that stand out. The significant aspects. And if it doesn't resonate in this pile, maybe check another and see if it resonates. If not, maybe this is not the reading for you at this time. Okay, so with this message, we're going to tap into your person and see if this individual is ready to communicate with you, whether you guys are in non-communication or you're waiting for this person to express something to you, significant, something specific or significant to you. Um, and what's their next move? That's what we're going to tap into. Okay. Okay. What's the archetype of this person? So this connection right here is like you guys are trying to reach a place of harmony and balance. Um, you guys may be trying to come into union with your person, okay? Once and for all, maybe this is a connection where you guys feel like you're, you're waiting for that and it hasn't quite happened yet, okay? Or you're wanting to um, solidify your connection or relationship. So let's see who's your person who's your person okay your person could be a gemini with mercury here okay ruling planet um or has gemini in their chart okay this person with open communication they may very well be ready to communicate but we're going to look further into the reading but as far as who this person is I get that they are all of, are all about communication. They are straight, direct, very vocal individuals. I feel like it took a lot for this person to get to that place where they can speak their truth and honor their truth um, without backing down, okay? This person does have a lot that they want to say to you. Um, I feel like this person wants to, like, want their feelings to be known. They want to be heard. Maybe they felt... That it just wasn't the time for them to to say the things that they feel like they needed to say. Okay, this person's been working through Saint Germain karma releasing. Your person's releasing some karma right now, um, and they're learning to trust their intuition. I feel like so this person could have some drama going on in their life. Okay, 
And this person is realizing that they're way more powerful than these limitations that they place on themselves or others have. They may have subscribed to some lower vibrational, lower vibrational energies or people in their life. But I feel like they're clearing this out. They're making room for a new energy. They're making room for more positivity. This person is, this again, this person's learning to honoring, bleh, my God, when I channel, I sound crazy. This person is learning to honor themselves. Who is this? Commander Ashtar, call to action. Yeah, this person feels guided to start to step up in their path. They feel like they need to align with their truth now. Like, who am I for real? You know, what am I here for? What is it that you want me to do, spirit? What are you calling me to do in this life? And this person may be even called to move towards you, I feel like. Um, so they're, they're starting to honor the self. They're starting with honoring. So with that comes great responsibility. And I feel like this person has been um, living for other people. This person was living for other people in the past. Um, your person could be an indigo. They know that there's something greater that they're called to do in this life. Okay. Your person is what they call, you know, I don't like labels, but I feel like your person is, you know, what we would consider a twin flame, whether they're your twin flame or they're just a twin soul person, you know, that energy, that character, they have a strong presence. They have a mission. They have a calling in this life. Okay. Um, your person could have a beard. They could have a mustache. Okay. Um, I'm also getting, they have like a sharp chin. Like this person has, mm, I won't say soft features, but I feel like they are what you would call pretty, pretty boys, okay? If this is a masculine energy, if this is a, a female masculine, they may have very strong features for a woman, okay? But I feel some of these men have long hair. Some of them may swoop their hair back in some type of style. Um, their hair color can range from light to dark hair, honestly, and really, they don't have a lot of melanated people in this deck, but I am seeing olive skin. I'm seeing um, fair skin, masculine energies of any race, okay? So take what resonates with that. Let's see what else. Please. The 11th house. So there's something with the number 11. Again, I do feel like this person is a divine counterpart, whether they're yours or they're just, you know, they're divine masculine, divine feminine, period. Definitely. Um, this connection is, I feel like this person is a part of your soul tribe. You guys do share some type of common goal or mission in life. So definitely this could be a divine counterpart. And you guys may have met through friends or some type of social community or something like that. This connection is meant to awaken you. You and this person are meant to awaken because of this connection. This person has a, a high higher calling in their life. And I feel like, I, like in the previous cards, I feel like they're being called to it. Okay, something with cancer. Um, the feminine could be a cancer or have cancer in their chart. But I'm just getting... Um, I'm getting this feeling that this the their feminine is very nurturing and very mothering towards this connection, very intuitive, has a higher knowing about this connection. There's some type of download about giving birth to a child or spirit babies. You guys could be in tune with your spirit babies or um, you guys have had dreams. You guys have been dreaming about babies a lot, the doula, okay? Someone may want to give birth or help women give birth to babies. Someone that is their calling and their mission is to help um, women give birth, okay? Uh, like a spiritual midwife, for some of you, is to give birth to other people, help people come out and be who they are authentically. And you may have helped this person activate who they really are or help them to activate in a way that they align with their truth and what they are called to do and be in this life, you've activated them in that way or they've done that for you. I feel like it could be both ways or realizing more and more what your path really is. This connection has done that. It's a very deep, mysterious connection. I feel like it goes back into the ancient times. Like you guys have known each other many, many lifetimes. 
um, this may sound crazy or far-fetched, but I have to speak on it because this is what I'm hearing and what I'm getting from spirit. But um, you guys may have worked alongside of each other in like ancient times. Like you guys, you know, the temples or something, you guys could have been high priestess and priestess um, initiating people into their spiritual missions and gifts what their callings are i feel like you guys are those that type okay this person may even also have the gift to help other people find you know what their purpose and their calling is and to align with their soul tribe there's a lot of divine connectedness here you guys could be very connected to the cosmos or you guys are able to read astrology you guys are very connected to the mysteries of the universe there's a lot of shadow work here in this connection as well um you and this person when you guys activate each other it could be through tangle of sensations could be like you guys have those um crown chakra tingles or you guys get chills on your body you you guys have a very um other like it's like otherworldly connection outer worldly connection um you guys both have strong psychic abilities i feel like this connection is teaching you to let go and to trust in the oneness of the divine and the universe like you're not meant to know everything you're not meant to see everything you gotta take it um you gotta take this connection higher and greater like don't don't limit yourself just based off of what you've done before or what you thought i guess spirit wants me to leave it here i'm gonna leave those alone I'll leave those cards alone but don't limit yourself is this person ready to communicate with you is this person ready to communicate with you is this person ready to communicate with you divine spirit the person in question in pile number three is this person ready to communicate with the viewer are they ready page of pentacles the fool ten of cups the will <laughs> they got a lot of cards okay let's see here strength ten of pentacles ten of swords you have three you have four tens we'll get into that chariot eight of pentacles see so have the ten of cups ten of pentacles ten of swords and you have the wheel of fortune which is the 10th major arcana card in the tarot so there's a lot of completions and beginnings here because tens represent those endings but they also represent beginnings with that one there the one is that individual energy this is self-awareness and guidance so your person may be ready to fully come into divine connection with you divine union with you um or to solidify what you guys have in a way okay this person's willing to invest in the long term the ten of pentacles is all about the long term the ten of cups is like we've been through some things we've come out of it individually and we're coming together this is about overcoming the obstacles and challenges with the rainbow there's a divine promise here so i do feel like this person i feel like they are ready they they know what this is this person feels like this connection is faded and destined they feel like you guys are meant to have a family together remember i was saying something about spirit babies or or children or something definitely this is confirmation okay it is written they feel like there's something working in favor of bringing this connection together they're ready to let go of the past okay they're ready to let go of what doesn't serve them so with the strength card though i feel like this person looks at you as someone that strengthened them you gave them a lot of love. You poured into this person in a way that gave them inner strength, okay? This person could have been living in their ego. There's something with nurturing and healing here. You could be a healer or you literally could be a nurse or something or a doctor of some sort, a counselor. Um, but there's this, this infinite of love, infinity of unconditional love and nurturing and giving and healing, okay? A lot of divine wisdom here as well be mindful not to control this person this person does not like to feel restricted okay this person could be representing the fool they don't mind 
being loved and cared for and nurtured but this person still has their own nature and they don't want to be tamed by someone trying to control them to be something they are not so make sure that you're not doing that but i feel like this person's ready to take a leap this person may have been sitting on something for a very long time or been wanting to give you an offer for a very long time i feel like they've been studying this connection or they've been studying you or they've been holding on to this connection and waiting for the right moment like this person is all about divine guidance this person's being divinely led your person is almost done working through something i feel like with the eight of pentacles they have been busy focusing on themselves they have been busy working on themselves as well so i feel again do not pressure this person you have two eights here do not pressure this person you have the strength card or the chariot card as well so spirit is divinely guiding you both and there's something with past lives between the two of you you guys are being divinely led by your spiritual team and it's like when you allow your higher self to align with your physical self and spirit everything is going to run smoothly and go in the right direction but there's healing involved in this you guys are healers there's something with health there's something with um whether that be you guys work in the metal medical field or not and travel together whatever um there could be distance here. This person may have to travel to you. Possibly this person has to travel to you or they're being guided to just move towards you in some instance. But I feel um, you guys are healers. You guys are like shadow and light. You guys in the past life were definitely high priests and priestesses. I kid you not. I feel like that's clear. Let's see what this person wants to tell you though. This could be the nature of what this person wants to say in communication or this is just what they want to say now like you know or what they want you to know for whatever reason so let's see what is this person's truth what do they want to express to you i'm going to use both of my um love messages cards falling for you i pray for you for your well-being to be together etc i must be honest with you i lied or have lied to you Let's see about what you got going on i've been avoiding you i'm not interested in anyone else and i can sense how you're feeling and how you're thinking okay so this person is falling for you or they feel like they've fallen for you this person may have lied to you um just to avoid this connection okay to run from this connection at some point but they're not really you know they're not interested in anybody else this person does truly want to be together they really do want this and i feel like they can sense your feelings they can feel your anxiousness they may be sensing that you're doubting this connection or you're doubting them see what else they want to say i'm going to use my um love message value two this said pull four in this deck okay do you truly want me i feel safe where i am i'm curious about you remember i was saying they've been studying you pay attention and use your intuition so this person is very confusing they're very much so all over the place like they're not clear cut right now and i feel again remember i was saying your person is learning how to communicate clearly and authentically in their truth this person wants to know do you really truly want them they may have been again this person was dealing with some type of toxic energies drama or toxic environments they may have felt safe where they were in that energy i don't feel like that's true anymore Pay attention to your intuition because this person could be confusing you. I don't feel like they're confusing you on purpose. I feel like this person has a hard time expressing themselves, okay? And they may have told you something because they were running, they were not ready. Now, be mindful and be careful with that because you don't want to deal with love bombing or someone where it's unrequited. I'm not telling you to chase after somebody that's clearly telling you that they don't want you but if this person's action towards you physically is different 
like this person is still calling you still texting you trying to see how you are or what are you up to oh i was thinking about you you know shit like that obviously it's confusing but if it's somebody saying leave me alone i don't you know i don't want to be with you i'm dating somebody else or you know i've moved on i don't think we need to be in this relationship you gotta honor that but again this is like a mixed signal type of person oh i can't be with you right now um i don't know what i want and then the next minute they're oh i miss you how you doing such and such oh i want to talk are you free and then this person ghosts you i'm talking about that type of energy where they're pulling you in and they're pushing you away that type of energy i'm not talking about something delusional <laughs> you got to be careful with that because some people get that confused and be like well they're still coming to me in my dreams but this person ain't paying you dust in the physical you got to be careful with that um all right i don't condone delusional reports with the divine so let's see what this person's next move towards you is potentially going to be in the near future what's the potential next move of this person in the near future based off of where they are with child three this person in question whoa okay you have stay in bed in reverse you have tough it out your person could be dealing with depression i feel like they're coming out of that depression like i said they're healing watch your back they don't feel safe to trust power persevere so your person could have been dealing with depression and that's part of the reason why they've been like away or avoiding you and i feel like they're they're going to find more strength in themselves and come out of that energy they were dealing with distrust with watch your back so this person may have some type of lingering triggers or annoyances that still come up, but this person is going to learn how to overcome that because they're stepping fully into their power. Like I said, um, they're getting that awakening, that call, that wake up call from spirit to tap fully into themselves. So they're going to be walking into this and they're going to persevere, but they're going to take their time with this. They're not in a rush. So when it comes to you, let's see, I'm going to clarify with the after tarot what exactly okay strength in the seven of swords so again this person likes their freedom okay they like to roam if this person tries to come in and leave again spirits going to trip this person up they're gonna look stupid you might call this person out for some reason i'm getting queen of pentacles because you're focusing on yourself and it's like if you there's some there's something with bunnies rabbits bunnies and rabbits this is the second totem that could be someone's totem or it could be someone is like anxious to move but then i get this energy where if there's a feminine involved this feminine is going to be focusing on themselves okay and it also could be a metaphor of this person coming out of nowhere for some of you this person hitting you up out of nowhere okay could be soon you guys i'm gonna say this again i'm a trust spirit with this this is not going to be for everybody but those who it's for it's going to come to pass if it's not for it's not going to come to pass but um those who this is for you guys are you guys have spirit babies there's something with this and these rabbits could represent fertility you have two rabbits so i've been saying this in a i've been saying this for over a year maybe two years now but i've been seeing people giving birth to twin babies and these babies being highly gifted spiritual babies okay um maybe just two separate births with highly gifted children spiritually gifted babies but for some reason i'm getting twins and i feel like this person's going to come around soon, okay? Um, they may beat around the bush. This person may need you to kind of like nurse them into speaking their truth because I still get a little bit of hesitance from that. But let's see what your advice is. This could happen during August because eight came out, I think, twice. And you have the strength card again in a different deck. So this is like the third time this, you know, eight has come out. I'm not mistaken if it was in this pile or not um i think it was so if i'm not wrong i feel like something with eight august does not have to be next month august 
as I'm recording this in July, it does not have to be that. It could be August of any time. This, again, is not about getting to the finish line as quick as you can because you want something. It's about being in divine alignment to, you know, be in the space to have that thing because it's the right energy, a.k.a. the right time. Okay, so, but it's something with the number eight. What's your advice from spirit, your spiritual team? That lovingly guides you and wants the best for you. That has the best intentions for all parties involved. What is your advice? Angel of clearing. Your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. So you're going to get that clarity that you need from this person. Very soon. Um, I feel like for a lot of you. It's going to come unexpected, though. I don't feel like y'all going to be expecting this because you're going to be so wrapped up in yourself and you're going to be so wrapped up in self-love that you're not going to be worried about it. Okay, I don't feel like this is an anxious energy. I don't get um, a lot of anxiousness, codependency, fear, obsessing. I feel like once you get that clarity to surrender, you're going to let it go. You're going to focus on yourself. And I feel like as that is happening, this person is going to come in and clear up some confusion that you may have had. Because this person is projecting a lot of confusion because they're they're not being clear with themselves. They don't really know what they want, but they're getting to a place where they are. They're clearing the air, I feel like, within themselves. So they're going to come to you. They may not be, they still may be a little bit out of balance, I feel like. And there's like some type of nurturing and reassurance that you're going to give this person. Again, remember that cancer energy. You guys have some type of nurturing, loving energy. That mothering. And that doesn't, you know, be careful with mothering because that could be smothering real quick. And I don't feel like that's what this is. But um, whether you're male or female, you're going to help this person feel okay to express themselves. This person may be used to being around people that make them feel stupid, that make them not trust themselves in some type of way or discounted them in some type of way where they're not fully safe to trust. So, again, you know, utilize your intuition to know what is for you and simply what's not for you, okay? You don't want someone that is a time waster wasting your time and it's not your responsibility to nurse someone that doesn't want to. But I feel like this person does want help. They really do. They want to be the best version and they feel like you actually motivate them. You inspire them. So it may require you to step in and help this person if they are open to it or if they, you know, ask you for it. I feel like you're going to help bring this person to clarity and able to express themselves how they really want to with you. Okay. So that was the reading. This was your piles, you guys. I hope each and every one of you enjoyed this reading. And until the next time, be blessed. Have a good day. Have a safe day. And I will catch you guys in the next reading.